Mahler's relationship to Deskram und Wunderhorn, it seems to me, is the, is the closest um, mirror that we can find of, of, I think, his personal ideas of life, um, youth, age, uh, craziness of our passions, obligerance of youth, rashness of youth, the futility of, of love and hate, the, the hatred for, for violence, these things are not just Mahler, they're Knaam und Wunderhorn. I mean, Goethe said of Des Knaam und Wunderhorn, if every intelligent family only had two books on their shelves, one would be for earthly things, Des Knaam und Wunderhorn, and for heavenly things, the Holy Bible. I also feel that it's symphonic in one way and it's typical piano music in the other way. It's a kind of balance between both. As you know, Mahler wrote two versions of these songs and one is for orchestra and the other one is for piano. So he decided clearly between the two uh, possibilities to express oneself. And um, I feel strongly that Mahler's world somehow comes out of myself when I play it. Um, I don't have to do much with it. I just have to let it flow. And I felt this from the very beginning when I first met Mahler's music and this feeling becomes stronger and stronger and so I feel very familiar with it and at a certain moment then you don't feel it is very difficult. Ah, 
Leider sollt wohl Frau Nachtigall, die sitzt da drin im Zweig. Die kleine, feine Nachtigall, die liebe, süße Nachtigall. Sie singt und springt, ist allzeit froh, wenn andere Vögel schweigen. Wir warten auf Frau Nachtigall, die wohnt im grünen Tag. Und wenn der Kuckuck zu Ende ist, dann fängt sie wie an zu schlagen. The thrust of the evening is Des Kalamad Wunderhorn, the youth magic horn, which uh, Mahler set, I think, what, 27 poems from, or 25 poems from. And this early romantic, meaning 19th century, early 19th century, actually late 18th century, early 19th century, work by uh, Clemens Brentano and Achim von Arnim is a collection of written poems and spoken poems through various dialects and various um, genres, various histories, various streams, channeling. If you wanted to study that, it would be quite fascinating, very much like this diary idea. Um, it landed into a three-volume set um, of, of poems that Mahler was drawn to very early in his, in his childhood and knew very well, um, and then set to music, and according to his own letters, needed that first person narration. Tiefen Tal, Kuckuck und Nachtigall täten ein Wettern schlagen, zu singen um das Meisterstück. Gewinn ist Kunst, Gewinn ist Glück, Dank soll er davon tragen. Sprach so dir's gefällt, hab ich den Richter wählt und tät gleich den Isel ernennen, denn weil er hat zwei Ohren groß, Ohren groß, Ohren groß, so kann er hören des Hobos und was recht ist, hören. Sie flogen vor dem Richter bald. Wie dem die Sache war, erzähl schon, wer sie sollten singen. Die Nachtigall sang lieblich aus. Esel sprach, du machst mir's kraus. Ich kann's mit Kopf nicht bringen. Der Kuckuck drauf ging an geschwind, sein Sang durch Tert und Quart und Quint. Dem Esel gefiel's, er sprach nur, wart, wart, wart. Dein Urteil will ich sprechen, ja sprechen. Sungen hast du Nachtigall, aber Kuckuck singst gut Choral, gut Choral und hältst den Takt fein innen, fein innen. Da spreche ich nach mein hohen Verstand, hohen Verstand, hohen Verstand und hast es gleich ein ganzes Land, so lass ich dich gewinnen, gewinnen. I think throughout the, the entire work of Mahler, Lied is all, has always been the nucleus from, from which uh, everything uh, comes, out of which everything comes. Um, I think the Lied maybe is a little bit more private, or a lot more private than the symphonic work. So, um, for example, if you compare 
the humor of um, Antonius zu Padua fish predigt with the movement to which it was transferred in the second symphony, you will realize that um, he takes much more time for that kind of humor and um, these um, connotations behind in the song than in the symphonic movement, which maybe also may have to do with uh, that in the symphony you have so many people to play. You are not the same free, I think, as you are um, with uh, just a team of two. Antonius zur Predigt, die Kirche fehlt ledig, er geht zu den Flüssen und predigt den Fischen. Sie schlagen mit den Schwänzen, im Sonnenschein glänzen, im Sonnenschein, Sonnenschein glänzen, sie glänzen, sie glänzen. Die Karpfen mit Rogen sind all hier gezogen, hatten Beule auf Riesen sich zu verfließen. Kein Predigt niemanden, den Fischen so gefallen. Schelte Hechte, die immer zu fechten, sind eilends geschwommen zu hören den Frommen. Aus jene Fantasten, die immer so fasten, die Stoffisch, ich meine, zu Predigt erscheinen. Kein Predigt niemanden, den Stoffisch so gefallen.
we didn't know each other, but friends of ours, close friends, did know each of us separately. And they thought this might be a good team, and they told each of us. And um, then we just met, and our first concert then was a small concert during a congregation of singing teachers, which was a very funny atmosphere, but um, this was our first concert, and then soon many other concerts followed because we felt very, very well together. Not only is he a, a marvelous pianist, and, and what was so incredible is his adaptability, which was very exciting for a singer, but um, also as a person. It was just clear that you know we, we, we thought along the same lines and, and just such a, a joy to work with and so open and so, so able. You know, I, for me, anything I can, so we, we, try, we chide each other, you know, when we're working sometimes we say, well, you know, what's wrong with that? Well, it kind of sounded like a song, you know, we're, we're so saying, don't get musical, tell a story. I believe song has three people at work, your left hand, your right hand, and your voice. <laughs> Morgen marschieren wir zu dem hohen Tor hinaus, zum hohen Tor hinaus, aus. Reist du denn schon fort, je mein Liebster? Kommst nimmer wieder heim, je mein Liebster? Heute marschieren wir, juchte, juchte, Hey, du schwarzbrauns Mägelein, unsere Lieb ist noch nicht aus, die Lieb ist noch nicht aus, aus. Trink du ein Gläschen Wein zur Gesundheit, dein und mein. Siehst du diesen Strauß am Hut, jetzt so heißt's marschieren gut. Nimm das Tüchlein aus der Tasch, deine Tränlein mit Abwasch. Heute marschieren wir, juchte, juchte, grünen Mai. Morgen marschieren wir, juchte, grünen Mai. Ich will ins Kloster gehen, weil mein Schatz davon geht. Wo geht's denn hin, mein Schatz? Gehst du fort, heut schon fort? Und kommst nimmer wieder. Ach, wie wird's traurig sein hier in dem Städtchen. Wie bald vergisst du mein, ich armes Mädchen. Morgen marschieren wir, Juchte, Juchte, Tröst dich, mein lieber Schatz, im Mai bin gar viel Blümelein. Die Lieb ist noch nicht aus, 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 aus. Schatz, da ging mein Trauern an. Das Albern hört ich drüben wohl an Stimmen. Ins Vaterland muss ich hinüber schwimmen. Das ging ja nicht an, das ging ja nicht an. Ein Stund in der Nacht, sie haben mich gebracht. Sie führten mich gleich vor des Hauptmanns Haus. Ach Gott, sie fischten mich im Strome aus. Mit mir ist es aus, mit mir 
ist es aus. Frühmorgens um 10 Uhr stellt man mich vors Regiment. Ich soll da bitten um Pardon, um Pardon, und ich bekomme doch meinen Lohn. Und ich bekomm doch meinen Lohn, das weiß ich schon, das weiß ich schon. All these boys, all these lives, all these lads have been sacrificed to that <laughs> March, 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 march. Ich muss bis zum Tod sterben. Ah, das muss ich. And this drang, this, this incredible power that we have in ourselves after duty and call to go there. Good, we have a pause and we go in now to Tambuch's cell. An innocent boy, probably again deserted, sings a very poignant, almost transcendental, Abschieds lead farewell uh, to the stones, to the hills, to the mountains, to the officers, to the corporal, to the musketeer. Yeah. 
Then we have Lied des Verfolgten im Turm, back to back with Wurde schönen Trompetenblasen. That is way, the way you will find it on the manuscript in the Morgan Library. Mahler was, this is a collection of songs, and the order of these songs is completely at will. It's been miswritten about and, and misanalyzed for many years, but in fact, the only cycle is Kindertotenlieder, and other than that, Mahler begged people to try different configurations, different kinds of voices. Also, he himself had concerts with different kinds of voices. He wrote once that, that when he thinks of himself or when he's writing songs, he thinks of himself and therefore it's more of a baritone kind of voice. Fine, whether that means that a baritone should sing them. I, these kinds of questions I think are a bit silly. The point is to sing the songs and, and to understand them. Kein Jäger sie schießen, es bleibet dabei, es bleibet dabei, die Gedanken sind frei. Im Sommer ist gut lustig sein, auf hohen wilden Heiden. Dort findet man ein Plätzelein, mein Herz verliebte Schätzelein. Von dir, von dir mag ich nicht scheiden. Und sperrt man mich ein in finstere Kerke, dies alles sind nur, dies alles sind nur vergebliche Werke. Denn meine Gedanken zerreißen die Schranken und mauern es ein. Die Gedanken sind frei, die Gedanken sind frei. Im Sommer ist gut lustig sein, gut lustig sein auf hohen wilden Man ist da ewig ganz allein auf hohen wilden Bergen. Man hört da gar kein Kindergeschrei, kein Kindergeschrei. Die Luft macht einen da wehren, die Luft macht einen So sei's, wie es will, und wenn es sich schickt, nur alles, alles sei in der Stille, nur alles in der Stille, alles in der Stille. Mein Wunsch und Begehren, niemand kann's wehren, es bleibt dabei, die Gedanken sind frei, die Gedanken sind frei.
before Heine, most poetry, when it was dealing with human feeling, was in kind of a laboratory, kind of a third person. So if you, if you were talking about a particular pain or a particular uh, grief or, or, or something that a human being is going through, you had to either set it up in a metaphor in nature, hurting flowers or colors that clash or, or some, something that happened, or you projected yourself into that. With Heine, Heine turned that all upside down and said, no, wait a minute, we're going to go right to the first person. And that, that little bitty song, Die Rose, Die Lili, Die Kleine, Die Feine, die, he turns the metaphors of nature perfectly into the first person of, no, it's her. It's, no, it's not a flower. It is her. I don't care about your flowers. It's her. Her I adore, I want, and she won't have me, and I'm dying because of it. Before that, we didn't have that. And in the Volition and Torpedenblasen, we have this fantastic veil of, of, of dream. And it's very interesting that, that the only thing Mahler says about this song is it should be like a dream throughout. And that's the only marking he gives.
We turn a, after the Schönen Trompetenblasen, we turn a very sharp corner back to reality and life in that fantastic dialogue between starving child and what you do with the mother is a little bit tricky. You have to decide whether she's a good person or a, or a bad person or whether she's caught in the same fate. I, ha I can't get past a certain sympathy to her plight. I don't think it's a neglect of the child, but I think it's a placating that goes too far. She's obviously impotent to relieve his hunger. I think what is more um, striking is how Mahler has set this in this sort of thrashing machine kind of chaka 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 You know, these, these motion perpetuum that uh, have a very machine-like kind of sound to them. And it just kind of mills them both up and spits them out. Mutter, ach Mutter, es hungert mich. Gib 
It seems such a natural and beautiful sort of amen to, to bring the Urlicht, Urlicht, the original light, and somehow try and encase all of that temporal stuff that gives us a glimpse of heaven and all those heavenly things that try and, and, and bring us closer on earth to be, to be decent and happy and peaceful. And the Urlicht is such a willful and wonderful testament of, of believing that, that in fact one comes from God and goes back home to God. And it was last analysis will always be God who makes that, whatever your God or whoever your God is, that will make your path a circle or a spiral up to complete what it is that you are as a human being, that the divine actually is in all of us, that we must allow ourselves to be awakened to our God. And this is what gives us transcendence from the temporal life.
Von Gott und will viel. 